And now the boning out of the galantine. Galantine or balotine. Galantine is if it's of cold, balotine if it's of hot. We have to remove the wishbone here. Cut on one side, on the other side, and here to, to have that big triangle here, which is the wishbone. I'm gonna cut the skin of the back now because I want to open the chicken completely. Now that chicken has an articulation here and there, here and there. That's the only place where I need a knife. The rest I'm going to pull. So first, let's move that up a little bit so I can show you the articulation is there, I can feel it. With my knife here, wiggle it, I get into the articulation there. Turn it, do the same thing on the other side. Articulation here. Now I've cut on both sides, so I can grab it here. I put my finger through it to hold it, and I pull out. Actually, I'm not really pulling out, I'm turning, I think this, until I see the little oyster here. Change hand, same thing on, on the other side. I pull until I see the oyster. Now here is the front of the chicken. The two fillets are still there. Put my two finger on the, on the sternum here, and I go down until the end. On the side now, now that the second articulation, which is the oyster here, again, bring back the leg to crack it open. You can hear it crack. Cut through the large sinew and pull out. Something on the other side. I will cut the oyster, cut through the sinew and pull it out. That really should not take me much more than like a minute or so to bone out the chicken to that extent. There is the two fillet again left here. Usually I just run with your finger along the bone here to be able to remove that large fillet, the other one. And where I cut with that joint, and that joint, that joint, and that joint, that's it. You can see that that chicken here, the end of the sternum is the cartilage. Chicken is like three months old. This is bone, it's a black bone. And two months later, it's going to be black up to here, up to here, up to here, and eventually you have a hand, and the bone is very hard at the end. Same thing when you go hunting, you get the sternum of the animal to know the age. Okay, now, I want to bone out the leg. All I do, I cut all around so that I'm able to hold it and I start scraping. I scrape, this of course is the, the thigh bone. So I've tried the thigh bone. I could cut it at the junction, but if I cut it at the junction, I have nothing to hold it. So what I have to do here is really to cut all around. until I have passed the articulation. Then I can start scraping it on the bone. And now that's it. I have the whole leg bone out. I'm here. I don't really want to cut the bone here because it's trained in the boning process. So I break the bone with the back of the knife and remove it. After it's cooked, we trim this. Same thing on the other side. Cut around to be able to hold. This is all bone out. The only two pieces of bone are here. I can leave those in if I want to remove. I hold the bone from underneath. I have to cut all around the articulation. That's where it held. And then push down. Even here I can see there is sinew still around. Sinew still around and then I push down and remove the bone of the wing, pull out. Now this is totally bone out. I have those two fillets and you can see those two fillets have a long sinew inside. If you want to remove those sinew, which usually we do, you have to bring them to the side 
of the board and hold them with a towel the way they slide. Keep your knife flat on top of it and I scrape it out, you see? And the whole sinew stay there. I will bring that back and put it where there is no meat around here. There is a bit less meat here, so I cut a little bit of that meat here and there. And now it's about the same amount over. What do I do on top of it? Salt, pepper, and a stuffing. I have all kind of different stuffing. In that case here, I have spinach. The spinach are sauté with a little bit of garlic, you can. You can stuff it with meat, with rice, with... Uh, the only difference, the only thing that you have to realize is that when you use a cooked, a cooked stuffing inside, you don't have to worry too much about the internal temperature as much as if you put like ground pork meat. If you put ground pork meat, you have to be sure that it goes to about 160 degrees or more internal temperature. In that case here, I'm gonna put some cheese and some bread kind of very homey, home type of a stuffing that should be plenty here. More cheese maybe on top. And that's it. We're ready to cook it. So what you want to do is to bring back the side in the center here nicely. Bring this one back again so we join. Gently grab it, turn it over. You want to be sure that that skin goes underneath here. This is reconstitute. See, there is a piece of skin which is cut here and there is nothing you can do about it. If you do a guarantee like that, when you go buy your chicken, make sure that you check out a chicken where the skin is not already torn. And now we attach it. What you want to do is to make it very taut to the table to slide underneath. Attach it at the end, the two legs. And now you use that little loop, we call a half inch, here just like this. And you do that loop, you let that go, you grab it here again and slice it nice to the table. Then is it in top to make it get as tight as this, again, you have that loop that I bring underneath and continue turning here, here, and that's about enough to hold so I could cut the string gently. I'll flip it over, try to bring the skin here. If you have a dressing which run, you may put a little piece of aluminum foil now I bring the string around so that it looks top and bottom the same again. I bring it back to where we started and we attach it right there. And we have now the poulet en sausage, you know, the sausage chicken that you carve. Roast in the oven, you roast them around, you bring them and here is my galantine now. It's been cooked for a little while. As you can see, here even now you would want to remove the string finally now. And also cut those two legs that I told you not to cut to start with. I have a lot of good natural juice here. The leg And that's it, my chicken whoop, is ready to go. Take a clean knife here. A couple of the chicken inside, the way it looks. If I use a natural sauce, just go on top of it, like this. 